okay guys, so this is not the video I was gonna make today, so it's gonna it's gonna be in two parts, okay? So Nathan Swan has officially responded to Jeffree Star, I guess, if you wanna call it that, okay? So Nathan Swan, which is Jeffree Star's ex-lover, posted a Q&A on his Instagram. Now, keep in mind, when you do Q&As, you get to pick and choose what you wanna respond to, and he chose to respond to this. Okay, so let me show you the receipt, because you know, I'm not gonna sit here and talk for 30 minutes and then give you the receipt at the end. I'm gonna give you the receipt right here, girl, let's go. Okay, so Nathan Swan said, do you miss living out west? That's what, the, well, this is Nathan Swan's account, and that was a question. And it's a picture of Nathan jumping on a skateboard in the park, no, not a cloud in the sky, and he's jumping around. And he said, just miss being able to skate all the time. Really, Nathan? You don't miss Jeffree Star and the cars and the mansion and the clothes and the food and the weather? I don't know. I think Nathan's being hard to get. Clearly, Jeffree Star has moved on. So has Nathan. But, oh, that was the it couple, girl. Jeffree Star, Nathan, that was the it couple of the internet, international, YouTube world. I mean, it was everybody wanted to have Nathan. Everybody wanted to be Jeffree Star. So, you know, for him to post this, and this is off the heels because I didn't make that video, I should have, but I have the receipt where a couple of months ago, they're like, what What do you miss or something? And he, he said something about, I miss Bora Bora. Or he, like, he, and I'm like, okay, so you, you're, here's the thing, right? Nathan Swant has been getting asked questions about his past, right? And he keeps saying, I miss the vacation. I miss this island trip. I miss being able to skate all day. But yet you are missing the whole common denominator of what got you that. So just say that you miss Jeffree Star. Like he could have easily put like, I miss and a star emoji. I mean, oh my God. Okay, easily could have done that. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what happens in the comments down below. But clearly Jeffree Star has moved on to dating younger, hotter men. You know how it goes, trade them in for a younger model. Oh, shut up, guys do it all the time. Guys do it all the time to girls, they're like, they leave her for a younger girl, and girls do it too. They leave the guy for a, a younger guy or sometimes an older guy, who knows. But anyways, let me know what you think of all that drama. Let's, let, we're gonna talk about the Jeffree Star skincare drama that he just came out with, so here we go, roll it. Jeffree Star is at it again. Okay, so Jeffree Star dropped this video today, and he was talking about this new upcoming launch that's coming this Friday. And I was like, what could it be? And then he shows his skincare products. So this is a Jeffree Star strawberry toner. This is my second model. Look, I'm almost done with it. And then, honestly, this was my favorite Jeffree Star skincare product, which is the Makeup Melter. Look, I'm done. I, I've used it. I get this, I put it on my skin. It just kind of dissolves the makeup away. It makes it super easy to get rid of my makeup. And I go in like with a wipe to you know get everything I missed behind. But anyways, so he drops his video saying that everything is gonna be mini size, travel size, miniature size. You guys know I love miniature makeup. So let me show you the receipts and then we're gonna talk about it because some of the other girls, they don't have this, they don't have miniatures. Here we go. Oh, hello everyone. I have a special announcement. You know my iconic skincare? Baby! In a few days, we're launching minis. Yes, Jeffree Star skincare travel size. How are ya? We recently just celebrated the two year anniversary of Jeffree Star Skincare. So to celebrate, baby, they're now gonna come in travel size. Our iconic formulas are gonna be perfect for travel. They are so cute and adorable with the same iconic formula. My iconic strawberry water facial toner. Oh baby, she's coming in a mini now. It is beautiful, the close up, look at her, yes. This formula is absolutely beautiful. This cleanses your skin and removes all the dirt and oil. How are you? It's like, hi, honey, I shrunk the kids. Now these two are gonna only retail for $12. That's it, hi, travel size. And of course, our amazing Magic Star Hydrating Moisturizer and the Make Me Melt Makeup Removing Balm. Oh baby, they're getting mini sized. I formulated this moisturizer for everyone. It is a good everyday moisturizer. It is stunning. The formula really is that girl. Now, she's coming in mini size. Here she is, you guys. As look at that packaging. It's giving that girl. If you tried this formula, you know it is really just amazing. This turns into an oil when you rub it together. It's going to melt your makeup off with ease. It is absolutely amazing. This emulsifies into an oil and gets rid of 
everything. Okay, so these two in mini size are retailing for only $20. Hi. Now, our amazing eye cream and lip mask, they are staying in the same size. They are perfect for travel. So what are we gonna do? We, of course, have an amazing bundle deal. You get all six skincare items as a full bundle set. They come in this amazing baby pink skincare bag. It is travel size, perfect for on the go. Okay, look at how much room is in this bag. It's huge, it's massive, just how I like it. Friday, March 29th, everything will be launching on our website and on the TikTok shop. Okay, let's talk about this, okay. So this is huge, and I'm gonna tell you why this is huge, okay? Because this is Jeffree Star putting more money into his brand, now in miniature travel size. Now, from what I've heard, it's oftentimes more expensive to do miniatures, but this is huge because now that he's doing miniatures, he can maybe include them in uh, like free gift with purchases type vibe. When he goes into retail stores, they often want to have like the big size and the miniature sizes. They're going for like 12 bucks. I think that's a good price, but you know, when I look back at his peers, other people who came in the game with him, like they're not even doing this. Like Jeffree Star is literally running circles around his competition. Especially when you think about some of the people that did him dirty to have their own makeup line. They're not doing miniature makeup the way Jeffree Star is. So it just goes to show that Jeffree Star has won. Because come on, she sit there and want to do minis. To do miniature makeup, it's... It's a whole different game. It's like, what, well, is it the same skew, right? It's just, it's different, it, it hits different. And so I think that like other girls are, are watching Jeffrey and they're like, wow, we launched like one palette a year and this mother has already moved on to skincare, now doing miniatures and minis and he's doing it at his own pace, what I noticed that too. Because Jeffree Star has yet to come out with fragrance. You know, he has a candle line on his website, but like, you know, I think that's the next thing is like fragrances, pots and pads, like Paris Hilton, you know what I'm saying? It's like there's just certain celebrity things that you do that, you know, I, I say this, but like I wish I would have recorded it. So the other day I went to Neiman Marcus, okay? And when I was at Neiman Marcus, I freaking saw the Victoria Beckham makeup counter. And like I've heard that Victoria Beckham has makeup line, but I've never seen a counter. We finally got one here at Neiman Marcus, I went up to it and it had the skinny little pencils that, you know, for the contour. Her whole line was there and she had fragrances. And I, the, the yellow bottle is the one that smelled the best to me. I like that one the most, but the most. Anyways, so I was like, mm-hmm, Jeffree Star, where's the fragrances? Jeffree Star, where's the autobiography? Like there's just certain stuff that you do as a celebrity, come out with a makeup line, come out with a skincare line, come out with a candle line, you come out with books, and then you do fragrances, right? Did, did we nail it all? Like what's that? He already has the merch and the clothes. He doesn't have pots and pans. I think that's the only thing that's left to do, honestly. Home decor, plates, and stuff like that. <laughs> oh my God. You know what I'm saying? Like celebrities do that. Is that they're like, we want to be a household name and they have all this stuff. Do you guys remember? You're my people. Like this is so weird. Do you guys remember when freaking Michael Kors came out with makeup and it was short lived. Like it came out, it was like a Macy's exclusive. You can Google like Michael Kors makeup. Like it came and it went, it just did not hit. I don't know why Michael Kors did not really step into the makeup field. I don't understand. I think, I really do think it was a missed opportunity for the brand. It could have been huge, especially like just get into Sephora, do it a good like two or three year run and then pull back, pull out, reformulate and then come back later. I mean, this is when the brand was like, at its peak, in my opinion. I think it would have been amazing. But anyways, I'll have to say this, right? When I saw that Jerry Star was coming out with his miniatures, uh, some of the products that I actually like, I was like, this this really shows that one, he cares about his products, because he didn't have to do it. But also, like, it, it also shows, like, his competitors, what they're not doing. That's what I, I was, that's what I want to say, too. It also shows, like, the competitors that they're not keeping up with the keeping up. Because if they truly were, they would have this stuff. And that's go show you, they don't have the money to do it. They just don't. And I think a lot of these influencers who have these makeup brands or whatever the case may be, and sunglass brands and skincare brands, whatever it is, insert influencer name here, I don't think that they're doing as well as they like to make us think that they are. Especially when they're ordering like maybe 3,000 pallets of something, but they're making it seem like they have 75,000 units. You know what I'm saying? Like I think across the board, a lot of people 
in the cosmetic field is like ordering less purchase orders. But also I feel like, like it's not because they can't afford it. It's because like the demand isn't there for it. Like it wasn't, it's not 2016, 2017. I think that the pendulum will swing and it'll come back around, but I can't help but to feel like drama really helped sell a lot of this makeup with the Tati and the James and the Jeffrey. I really do think that I look back at it and I'm like, even though it might've turned some people off, I think it would, it really generated buzz and made people want to buy. It was really cutthroat Game of Thrones up in there. And it's like only the strong survive and look who's still here. Only the strong are still here. Some of these people don't fell off the house, girl. Where are they at now? You know what I'm saying? Where are they at now, girl? Where are they at? I'm looking for them. I can't find them. They're not launching mini minis. And I, for whatever reason, like I just love miniature makeup. Like when it comes to miniature makeup, I tend to use it more. I, I tend to carry it with me more, super easy for travel. And I noticed that like my full size products, like for example, like this full size lipstick by Charlotte Tilbury, which is, uh, I think Runway Royalty. Run, Runway Royalty is sickening, okay. So anyways, let me show you. It's, it's not, look, we've all seen, and I talked about this the other day. We've all seen this color before, right? We've all seen the color before. But it's the formula in this that when you put it on, it just kind of like melts into your lips and make it look it make it look like, I don't know what it does. It does something where it makes it look so natural. There's something in this, which is why it's super expensive, but it's worth it anyways. But I still stand by like the Jeffree lipsticks and like the Milani 1410 Pleasure, my favorite one, stuff like that. Those are great too, but there's something about this one that it does something. So anyways, I'll link it in the YouTube shop if you guys wanna check it out. It's super bougie though, so like whatever. I also link, um, the Milani one too, the 410 Pleasure, if I can find it. I love that shade. Okay, and I get Elf one too, if I can find it. This, you know, I'm trying to be even across the board. Which, those are really good too, but like, again, there's something about this one. There's something about this one. And the, it's, it's just heavy. Okay, I digress. So when I saw he was launching the miniature makeup, I was like, yes, bitch. This is really putting the girls in their place. This is really showing them that you are not here to play because they are struggling to keep up with palettes. They are struggling to sell, and Jeffree Star is over here dropping miniatures, okay? And I see Jeffree, and he's hustling, and he's on TikTok Live, and he's doing flash sales. Like, some of these $50, $60 palettes are being sold for, what, $21, $16, something like that? And he's pushing that product out, to, out. He's making money. He really is. And these other people, oh, God, more receipts are coming in right now. These other people, they're not, they're not doing that at all. So I'm just struggling to understand what is going on. Like why, I just feel like if you can't fully commit, then don't do it. Like if you can't fully just go in hard and like I'm gonna drop a palette every this month, every that month, and I'm gonna do miniatures, and I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do the skincare, and I'm gonna I'm make the whole household name. Like if, you, if you're not gonna go that big, then why even do it? And some of these sleepy YouTubers who are coming out with their boring ass stuff that no one's buying. I'm just like, why are you even playing? Like, show up and play, but you're not playing. Anyways, let me know if you all this drama in the comments down below. At this point, I'm just ranting. I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Rich Lux with the hottest news on YouTube. Mwah.